Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about C sharp dependency injection. So let's get started. So to demonstrate, I have created a class called display. And uh, in the constructor itself, uh, this is where the dependency injection comes in. So typically what you want to do is to be able to uh, have an uh, object that is coming into the constructor, which implements an interface so that you can inject different kinds of objects and uh, since they are going to be implementing the same interface uh, they can do different things so that's the trick here so uh, you got the surface uh, i'm showing it as an uh, example here and uh, essentially i'm going to store it in my object here underscore surface and the interface uh, right now only implements uh, one uh, call which is just the show and it takes a string and uh, when you call on the actual display object uh, show method it's going to invoke uh, the appropriate method show on the object it has uh, stored in here so that's what dependence injection is and uh, the advantage here is that you can inject different types of objects inside this and the behavior of the app can be different so to demonstrate i have created some code for you and we can take a quick look uh, basically, uh, I have two buttons. Uh, when I click on console, it will uh, print some string on the console. If I click on text box, it will uh, print same string on, on this side here. And to you implement it using dependency injection is pretty straightforward. So if you look at my console click, it's going to basically get a display object and it's going to send in a console. Uh, which is I have created called I of the same interface I show and uh, for here the text window is going to do something similar where it sends in an object of text type window and which implements I show to implement this object is pretty straightforward I've written small classes to create this so I get a console and a text window and uh, you can see now the power once uh, let me start this thing so the advantage here is uh, if I clear my console here, so you can see the output. If I click on console, uh, it's going to print the, this text dependency injection test. And, and the reason it is because I, I injected an object of type underscore console and it will show up here. And if I click here, you can see it's going to create and write in the, uh, this particular area. So your code is actually quite simplified here now and you can do it obviously imagine many different ways of doing this thing. So if you wanted to know more about and watch uh, different videos very fast, uh, you can try to go to my website. You can find lots of videos, but uh, you can pretty much find all the videos you can find on the internet. So example, if you're getting bored at work and you want to watch the Batman versus Superman trailer, uh, you can do that as well. And my website is Gore Associates. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.